This is 2003. This is what the sun looks like. And the stars. Nature. This is the president. And this is the sun in 1955. And the stars. And nature. And cars. And phones. And movies. And the president. These are what pets look like. These are fireworks. This was smoking. This is what it looked like when people kissed. When they were happy. When they were sad. My parents got married in 1955. He was a museum director and she fixed up old houses. They had a child and they stayed married for 44 years until she died in their bed. After four months of cancer and eating French toast for every meal and watching the Teletubbies every day and confusing white straws for her cigarettes and skipping back and forth through time inside her head. Six months later, my father told me he was gay. He had just turned 75. I'm gay. I always remember him wearing a purple sweater when he told me this, but actually he wore a robe. I'm gay. I'm gay. I loved your mother, but, uh, but now I want to explore this side. I don't want to be just theoretically gay. I want to do something about it. I want to do something about it. I want to do something about it. He changed all his clothes. He got a boyfriend, Andy, a physical trainer who was also studying for his professional pyrotechnic license. Since I came out to my father, he never speaks to me. That's why I've been always attracted to older men. <laughs> he found an out gay priest to guide him spiritually. He saw a therapist for the first time. He joined the Prime Timers, Movie Night, Los Angeles Pride. And then four years after he came out, he died in this room. I'm sad. I know, we told you that. Three for obvious. This is what it looks like when Anna tells me about being Jewish in 2003. And when I tell her my mother was Jewish. And then my father turned in his gay badge when my mother turned in her Jewish badge. And they got married in 1955. My mother didn't know she was Jewish until she was 13. It was 1938. This is what people looked like. And lions and giraffes. This man was the man of the year. Her father tried to hide that they were Jewish. This is the swim team that asked her to leave once they discovered that she was Jewish. This is what pretty looked like in 1938. My father realized he was gay when he was 13. It was 1938. This is what pretty looked like. This is the high school where they first met. This is the war they both went to. And this man was popular when they met again. This is the only place my father could hide and have sex in the 50s. My father said if you got caught by the vice squad, you could lose everything. This is everything. My father lay down on a couch like this and told the psychiatrist all his problems in 1955. The doctor told him that homosexuality was a mental illness, but it could be cured. Not everyone got cured. This is where my parents lived in 1955, and this is the home where the first gay rights group were secretly meeting. While they were reciting their vows here in this church, Allen Ginsberg was writing his famous poem, Howl, blocks away in this room. Who let themselves be fucked in the ass by saintly motorcyclists and screamed with joy? Who blew and were blown by those human ceremonial sailors? Anna and I are in a relationship in 2003. This is what the sun looks like and the stars. This is what it looks like when we eat, when we tell each other the stories in our heads. I was born in 1965. Anna was born in 1971. This is what the sun looked like, her pets, her parents. She left home when she was 16. She lived here and here and here and here. She had three serious relationships. She left all of them. I had four serious relationships. I left them too, or let them fall apart. We didn't go to this war. We didn't have to hide to have sex. Our good fortune allowed us to feel a sadness that our parents didn't have time for, and a happiness that I never saw with them. We didn't know how we learned the stories in our heads, but sometimes they stopped running and and I can really see Anna's eyes in 2003. 
her ears, her feet. This is what it looks like when she says, I love you in 2003. This is what it looks like when she cries. When she tells me there's always a new empty room waiting for her. They used to make her feel free. Now they make her feel the opposite of free. Sex. Life. Healing. Sunlight. Nature. Magic. Serenity. Spirit. The first gay pride flag was made by a man named Gilbert Baker in 1978. He gave a meaning to each color. This man was president. This was invented. This is what movies look like. Pets. On November 27, 1978, Harvey Milk was shot and killed. One week after my father opened his annual museum Christmas exhibit, he collected stuffed animals from people in the community and he put them on display. My father printed a quote from the Velveteen Rabbit in large type on the wall. The stuffed rabbit asked, what is real? And the rabbit asked, does it hurt? And the horse said, sometimes. Does it happen all at once? It takes a long time. Generally, by the time you are real, most of your hair has been loved off. Your eyes dropped out and you get loose in the joints. But these things don't matter at all. Because you are real. You can't be ugly except to people who don't understand. Once you make the call, you have less than an hour before two men come and place the body into a bag. They charge $1,485 for cremation and deliver the remains in a small metal container the size of a jar of peanut butter. You will need to get a death certificate. You will need to make copies and send them to cancel every credit card, phone account, utility, gym membership, every insurance policy, mortgage, to settle their taxes. You will have all our mail forwarded to your address. You will write their obituary. You run it with a photo in the paper for $2 a word. You'll wonder if it's right. You'll throw a lot of their stuff away. You'll bring a lot of their stuff to your house. This is the photo my mother kept in her bedroom. When I was a kid, I thought that was my arm giving her daisies. Now I make a new mistake and I think it's her arm giving me the daisies, saying here, here's simple and happy. That's what I meant to give you.